Greetings, folks, and welcome to today's show. Uh, we want to talk, to talk today about a, uh, a program that I think is doing uh, some fairly incredible work. Uh, they've been around several years, but actually we hear very little about them, so I'm glad for an opportunity to acquaint you with them because I say I think they're, they're doing good work. Uh, but they don't get much publicity. So our guest today is one of the staff members at uh, Blue Monarch. Uh, that's uh, Kate Cataldo, who's just recently married, so I'm having to get her name straight. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Kate, welcome. And uh, Thank you. thanks for taking time to join us. We uh, are grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be here with you, Tom. Okay. Uh, well, let's see, we want to talk about Blue Monarch, but first let's talk a little about Kate. Tell the folks about you. My name is Kate Cataldo, and um, I live right here in Tullahoma, Tennessee. I've been with Blue Monarch since September. And, you know, Tom, in 2010, I just started praying that I really wanted to work with women in the prison system. And I had a real burden on my heart for how um, addiction and abuse was getting treated in this country. And so when I heard about Blue Monarch, it just took my breath away. I could not believe um, that there was an organization that was doing such great work and helping so many families. And then there was a position available. So um, Blue Monarch is an answered prayer for so many people and it was also an answered prayer for me personally. So that's some background on Kate. Okay. As I say, Kate was just recently married, so she yes. hadn't started a family yet, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll, uh, we'll look forward to that. Okay, uh, let's take a short commercial break, folks, and uh, we'll come back and find out about Blue Mama Ark. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles, Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100 year old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Post My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. We're back, folks, and we're talking today with uh, Kate Cataldo, who is a staff member at uh, Blue Monarch, which is uh, not a butterfly, but a uh, recovery program. Uh, 501c3, a, a nonprofit uh, corporation. And uh, so, Kate, tell us what Blue Monarch is. What's it all about? Blue Monarch is a ministry that not only helps treat the symptoms of addiction, but we help heal the wounds that led to that addiction. So we serve women and families that come from generations of abuse and addiction, maybe their mother, their grandparents, their great grandparents even were in addiction. Um, and the beautiful thing about Blue Monarch, Tom, is that we recover the family, so we allow the women to go through recovery with their children 
And we put just as much emphasis on the child's recovery as we do the mother's recovery because broken women have broken children. And even if the parent goes to a recovery program and gets treatment, you still have a child with issues. So I think that it's really important um, that the children are involved in the recovery and that's, that's the beautiful thing about Blue Monarch. And when you talk about uh, breaking addiction, it really applies to the kids because a lot of people who are, who are now adults are coming from a from a background where they have been subjected to uh, addiction or abuse. So. Exactly. A lot of the children that we serve at Blue Monarch are prime children um, to be wrapped up in that same cycle. So we just we make sure that every child that comes through our threshold gets the richest experience possible. We offer one-on-one -on -one counseling for them. We offer family counseling. They get mentoring. They get tutoring. Mentoring. Um, Where do you get the mentors? That's a great question. We have a lot of um, a lot of people from the seminary come out and do some mentoring. Um, they play basketball with the kids, they do GED classes with the parents, just whatever that family needs, we try to provide it um, just on a case-by-case -case basis. Seminary, you're talking about uh, Swanee? Yes, sir. Uh, we, I guess we haven't mentioned that uh, Blue Monarch is located on uh, Mount Eagle. We, and our mailing address is Mount Eagle, but we're actually located right here in Coffee County in Hillsboro. Ah. Mm-hmm. Well, why do you have an address in Mount Eagle? Um, we just don't like to publish the address. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, since you mentioned that, uh, you might as well go ahead and mention what your facility uh, looks like. We have a beautiful 50-acre farm um, right here in Coffee County. The hills of Hillsboro are beautiful. It truly is God's country. And... Um, if you visit our website, you can see a short video clip that kind of shows the campus. I think you've seen the video, Tom. And it's, it's just beautiful. It's the perfect place for healing. Uh, we have goats, we have chickens, and Blue Monarch actually used to be a bed and breakfast. So you can imagine, um, you know, what, what the home inside looks like. It's, it's just beautiful. The bedrooms are, are perfect for, you know, for a family. and. Mm -hmm. It's okay. just beautiful. Very good. Um, how long? Uh, how long do? Uh, well, maybe we ought to say first of all, how does how does anybody get in? That's a great question. Um, our application is on our website. So if somebody wanted um, to get into Blue Monarch, they would need to print off an application, fill it out, and either fax it or mail it into us. And all that contact information is on our website. Okay, and then you take the application and do what? And then our program staff prayerfully reads the applications and um, makes uh, a decision on whether we would be a good fit for them or not. Yes, yeah, okay. And uh, how, long does your, uh, how long does your program last? We are a 12 to 24 month program. The reason it's 12 to 24 months is because not everybody is in the same place in their addiction or um, in, in the kind of abuse that they're in whenever they come to Blue Monarch. So, but we have a staff member that is our resident manager that used to be a resident at Blue Monarch. She came when she was 48 um, and she's 51 now. And so she took advantage of, you know, the full package. So. It varies from person to person. Somebody could graduate the program. Advantage, you mean she was she was a. Uh, yes, she stayed through the tra to, through the residential program and then also transitioned with us. Yeah. Okay. So she has she has been there. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, Twelve twelve to twenty four months, and uh, then what happens? And uh, uh, aside from the, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, your approach to, to uh, 
breaking the addiction cycle and then also preparing them to go back in the... To go back in. Yes, to go back in the world. Yes. Um, the addiction is just a symptom of a bigger issue that they have. Um, there's a lot of trauma. I would say that 90% of the women that we see at Blue Monarch were sexually abused at an extremely young age. 90%? I would wow. say 90%. Okay. Um, I would say most of the women that we serve. And then they were taught to use drugs in their own home by a parent or a grandparent by the age of 11. So they have a lot of hurts from their past, which is why we have a master's level Christian counselor on staff. So she gets to see their behavior and hold them accountable. And that's another reason that we're a long-term program, Tom, is because it could take someone six months before they really start to open up in therapy. You know, and if, I mean, 90 days isn't gonna help heal those hurts and that's the real issue. Until you get to the why of why they're using and why they're choosing this lifestyle, you can't really help that person truly recover and experience freedom. And so that's what we really try to do at Blue Monarch is give them those services, um, that family counseling, that one-on-one -on -one counseling, the therapy that they need. And a lot of times these moms have never seen a mom because their mother was in addiction or their mother was the mom that they were using with. That was their, that was their drug buddy. So they need parenting classes. Um, we have a master's level parenting and family yeah, coach. That's an interesting uh, point. They, uh, they don't really know about mothering. Don't they know don't. how to mother. They, yes. don't, they don't know how, the kids don't know how to use their imagination. They don't know how to go outside and play. Um, that's why it's beautiful to see them running around with each other and spending time with their moms on a 50 acre farm just being kids because they've never got to do that before. Yeah, and you have uh, a little bit more about the, uh, the, the facility. You have a, a playground for kids. Right. You have a pool, I think. And, yes, sir. Uh, and the uh, the animals do the uh, do the kids take care of the animals? Or? Yes. Yes. Yes, and they have a great time. Um, they love the goats. I would say those are their favorite. The goats. The goats. <laughs> yes. Okay, and uh, that's good in the, in that it uh, uh, gives them a, a sense of responsibility as well. Uh, you're you're exactly right, Tom. They. Uh, they are assigned. How do you get them to take care of the animals? We have a chore chart. Um, so it rotates. Um, they might be taking care of the goats one week and the chickens the next week and cleaning out the barn um, another week. So who's in the barn? Right now, I'm not sure, but that rotates. Oh, what animals are in the yes. barn? The chickens. <laughs> I thought you meant who's cleaning yeah. the barn. Chicken house. Okay. The chicken house, yes, sir. All right. Uh, well, uh, how many uh, you have, uh, Blue Monarch, as I said, has been there several years, but we don't hear yes. much about it. Uh, I think they uh, started in like 2003 or so, somewhere Yes, sir, there. yes. So you've been, uh, in business now 13 or so years. Yes. How many, uh, how many graduates do you have? We have served over 600 women and children and over 200 children have reestablished relationships with their mothers. Over 200? Over 200. Of the six? Still, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We we serve women that do not have children as well, which is a popular question because I know we talk a lot about, yeah, I was wondering about the that, child's yeah. recovery, but we do serve um, women that do not have children. Okay. All right. Uh, well, with that, folks, we need to take a short commercial break and we'll go come back with some more. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green 
and recycle. Tell them Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. Hey everybody, this is Shane Owens. If you like real classic country music, June the 7th at 7.30, we're gonna be right here at the Civic Center in Tullahoma, Tennessee. It's a free concert, so we hope to see you all there. It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades and summers unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham from the News Channel 5 Weather Center. Look to Jim Fuller and crew for local news night here on Channel 6. We're talking today, folks, with uh, Kate Cataldo, who is a staff member with Blue Monarch, a recovery program that is uh, doing some uh, quite significant work. Uh, and uh, one thing that uh, we, we've talked a great deal about your uh, work to help them break the cycle of addiction, yes. uh, but uh, getting them prepared to go back into the end of the world. Uh, what, talk a little bit about that. It's extremely important. Um, along with the anger management and the self-esteem and the 12-step classes that we offer, we also do classes such as nutrition and budgeting. And probably one of my favorite things um, about Blue Monarch is the 10-week job readiness course. Our founder takes them through a 10-week job readiness course where they learn time management, they learn how to make a resume, um, they learn how to do an interview, and then they're actually employed in our out of the blue granola kitchen. And this way, Tom, they get hands-on work training, um, they get work history, now they have references, um, and they're more prepared. A lot of the women that we serve, they've never had a job. So when they get that first paycheck, that first clean and serene play paycheck at the out of the blue granola kitchen, it's exciting for them. It shows their children um, that working hard really, you know, it pays off. They get to be a good role model for them in that way. So that that's a, another incredible thing that Blue Monarch offers is that transition, you know, back into the yeah, world. What did you say? 10, 12 weeks. Uh... Yes. Yeah, that's very you know, because once you finish with your program, uh, the question is, how do they get back out into the world mm -hmm. in a in a way that is uh, meaningful and fruitful, yes. and not uh, not go back to the uh, to the environment that they had left. Uh, okay, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about your your uh, blue granola. Our what is that? Out of the Blue Granola is, um, it's hand-baked by women that have overcome abuse and addiction. It is all natural and we use local honey. So it's... it's all natural what? All natural what is ingredients. What is grain of some kind. Yeah, it's rolled oats, it's pure honey, it's canola oil, it's molasses and sea salt. So there's no preservatives or... Um, you know, anything that you can't pronounce. You can pronounce everything on the back of the label, which I feel like is very important. What do you do with it? We sell it. Yes. So. And what does the customer do with it? They eat it, they put it on top of their granola. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me they put it on top of their salads. So you can actually pour milk into this bag, Tom, and it comes with a spoon and, and just make it cereal on the go. It's a, it's a meal. It's a meal. Yeah. It's a meal. So, um, but really it's a, it's just a really, it's an awesome product. Um, it's delicious. It's some of the best granola I've ever had. 
So How do you sell it? We sell it um, off of our website, retail, and then we're also at Whole Foods, um, Kroger. You can find us locally at Tullahoma Drugstore. Ah. So, um, yeah, okay. it's a pretty, little, a pretty good little product our women have produced here. So, and it also comes with um, one of our women, one of our woman's pictures and her story of recovery inside. It's on the package. Yes. Very good. How much does that little package cost? This little package cost um, two dollars and fifty cents. Okay. And we also have a twelve ounce bag that you can find um, at out of the blue granola dot com um, that I think is six ninety nine. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, let's go back uh, and uh, talk a little bit more about. Uh, well, maybe while we're on the subject, this this is a source of income for you. Yes. And uh, what are the sources of income do you have? All of the proceeds from the granola go back into the program to um, serve more families. And then Blue Monarch is run solely off of private donations. Um, so we really do the work we do through the prayers, support, and generosity of our community. And it's just been incredible um, to watch that happen, to watch so many people get involved in, um, in the recovery of wounded families. Okay. Uh, well, and uh, how about uh, funding? Do you get, uh, get money from the government? We, since we are a faith-based program, Tom, we do not receive government funding. Um, and that's kind of the reason why, you know, we say it's a 12 to 24 month program, but we have the ability to serve every family on a case-by-case -case basis. So if there is a family that needs to stay longer or take Miss Donna, you know, for example, we have the ability to do that because, um, you know, we're only answering to one, to one guy, so. Okay. Um, well, let's, uh, you've made, uh, for the kids in particular, made a fairly dramatic uh, difference in their life. And yes. uh, I think one thing we may not have touched on directly is that your dealing with the kids is a very significant uh, contribution to breaking the cycle because Absolutely. a lot of your mothers who've come in are coming from a background of addiction that was in the family. Absolutely. So the kids are a, are a major factor in trying to break the cycle so that they don't go out and, and yes. become the, the same thing. Yes. Now your, your cost is uh, what? How much is it? Um, our services are free. So um, if a family comes to us, it's at no cost of their own. And the interesting um, thing You don't of, mean free, you mean your residents don't have to pay. Yes, yes. Tom, that's, what, that's exactly what we, that's what we mean. Um, and we have a family right now, it's a mom that came from incarceration, and she has two children that were in foster care, and she has recently regained custody of those two children. Well, touch on, uh, what's the difference? You cost 40000 a year for a family. So it's, yes. What does it cost if they're on welfare or in jail? It would cost that same family a hundred and forty. You mean cost the government? Yes. It cost yes. the taxpayers. That's yes, us. it would cost the taxpayers a hundred and forty thousand dollars to put that same family um, through those programs for a year. Whereas if they're at Blue Monarch, it costs us forty thousand to put that family and through our program for I, a I year. I dare say, uh, having spent a hundred and forty thousand or so, uh, they probably are not as successful as you are in graduating of Right. It. They're getting, you know, services that help them just grow and become, you know, a better member of society and really just give back and see what that looks like. Okay. And you have a, uh, a post-grad program when they, when they leave you after you've completed your program? Yes. Are they just cut off? No. Um, and we call that program the WINGS program. Wings. And that, yes, WINGS. We're actually um, 
we're located in Hillsboro on Lord's Landing. So it used to be a landing strip, so we thought Wings um, really uh -huh. kind of made sense to go along with that theme. And Wings stands for Women in Newly Grounded Success. So what that looks like is after they graduate from the Blue Monarch Residential Program, they um, move into a transitional cottage. They can have a car, cell phone, they're employed, um, but they still get random drug screenings, nicotine tests, and they still can see our counselors and um, take advantage of those services. They're still kind of under our umbrella. Okay. And that's for how long? That can be for up to another two years. Okay. So they could spend uh, four years with you. Yes, sir. Well, with that, folks, uh, we have run out of time. We're going to have to take a short commercial break and wrap up. The Russell Barnett Automotive family is the largest automotive retailer in southern middle Tennessee. With over 1,200 vehicles to choose from, we are your one-stop shop. Check out our awesome website, russellbarnett.com. There's over 1,200 vehicles to choose from. Stop by one of our five locations. That's Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Chevrolet GMC, and Ford of Winchester, or Russell Barnett Ford and Kia of Tullahoma. And remember, why buy anywhere else? Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. We've been talking today, folks, with uh, Kate Cataldo, who is a staff member at Blue Monarch, a uh, recovery program <coughs> excuse me, to break addiction uh, for women and uh, children. Kate, is there something you'd like to say direct to the folks? I would say um, if you have a family member or a friend that is struggling with the cycle of abuse and addiction, I would say don't lose hope. And also, if you're someone that wants to get involved, I think the best thing um, that the community can do for Blue Monarch is just to, um, to give us your prayers. And if you wanted to be a financial support, you can give online at bluemonarch.org. And tell a friend, um, tell your church, tell somebody about the program and just help us get the word out so we can serve more wounded families. And if you... Uh if someone uh, is interested and wants to try to get in. Go to bluemonarch.org and fill out that application. Okay. All right. Fill out that application. Uh, send it in to you. Yes. Uh, you have a screening process you go through. And uh, the, I guess the, the key there is to decide whether or not there's a fit between what this, right. what this person or family needs and what yes. you can offer. Yes. And, uh, and I appreciate your, you having me today, Tom. Your success rate has, uh, has been very good. Yes. So, well, thank you for uh, taking time to join us, and yes. uh, we will uh, wish you the best of luck. And, uh, folks, uh, that wraps us up for today. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.